such a fantastic day for the athletic program uh, here with USC Aiken. Uh, Dr. Heimerman wanted me to send his best wishes. He wished he could have been here, was unable to be here today. Um, first off, I just want to kind of let you know, watch out, don't run with scissors. Uh, kind of the sequence of, of events, we have three or four folks that are going to kind of talk a little bit about what this project is and what it could be uh, for them. Uh, we'll have a ribbon cutting, and for those of you who are not student athletes, you might like to take a look inside and uh, see what our athletes are getting a chance to enjoy. Uh, there's a few folks that I want to thank uh, that are here. I want to thank the members of the uh, USC Aiken Senior Cabinet that are here. Uh, I want to say thank you to Ms. Teresa Haas. I saw Teresa earlier. Other folks that are here from our Aiken County Commissioner on Higher Ed. They do so much to make this the wonderful university that it is. I want to thank all of our coaches and our staff and our student athletes that came out this afternoon. Uh, some of them left practice to come over here, uh, and we're appreciative of that. Um, I guess I'll start by saying I always meet with our teams at the beginning of each season. Uh, I like to tell them that the point of being a student athlete is leaving here uh, better than when they arrived. You know, better as a person, better as an athlete. Uh, we challenge them to improve. Uh, we want them to leave campus with no regrets. We are always looking for a competitive edge. You know, a reason for strong student athletes to choose USC Aiken. They have a lot of choices. Students have a lot of choices. Uh, we want to make sure that we're doing what we can uh, to be their top choice. Um, I kind of think that 90% of success sometimes is just showing up, digging into the work, the diligence in the little things, small details, every practice, not cutting corners. Um, we have a saying here in this building that those who practice improve, those who don't, won't. Um, and we challenge our athletic alums, our student athletes, to help us gain that edge. Um, on campus, we have a student athlete advisory committee. There's two representatives for each team, generally an upperclassman and an underclassman. Uh, includes our spirit squad as well, and a lot of those folks are here today. Uh, our, our SAC every year creates a top 10 list for us. I kind of pick top 10. I figure if a top 10 list was good enough for Moses on Mount Sinai, it's probably good enough for us to follow as well. But they do a top 10 list. What are those things that we can do to improve? What would they like to see change? Um, what would be impactful? What could we do in the future that we're not doing now that sort of people would think would be impossible? Well, this particular project uh, for about three years has been the number one uh, item for our Student Athlete Advisory Council. Something they felt would be impactful for them and for future generation of Pacers. So what we can do with a facility like this is assess their physical function, develop and implement programs to enhance their strength, their power, speed, endurance to improve sport performance. Help them the part leaving here better as an athlete. Uh, when they put this on the list, I immediately went to Brandon Aiken, who's our Director of Sports Medicine. Uh, he is our NCAA strength and conditioning designee. And we started brainstorming, how could we make it happen? Where could we make it happen? Uh, we immediately caught up with Robin Calicott from Advancement and Professor, uh, Professor Brian Parr from Exercise Science and said, is this a crazy idea? Is this something that could work? Uh, and they encouraged us to move forward. Uh, one of our basketball alums, Billy Morris, one of the first people that we had meet with those student athletes. And he jumped in immediately, the first gift uh, for this and said, I can see what a difference it'll make. There's been some others along the way that have helped. Uh, the Snellgroves, uh, Scott Heath, Ronnie Maxwell, Chris Vereens, Mary and John Ad uh, Andrews, Sheriff Leon Lott, a whole bunch of others that recognized the value and said, let's go for it. Let's try to make it happen. We're grateful for their trusted guidance, contributing to this campaign, motivating other donors to get involved. Uh, we appreciate Sornex. If you ride up uh, I-20, you'll see them uh, right up before you get to Lexington. Uh, they are world renowned for what they do. Uh, we wanted the best for our student athletes, and we are committed to trying to get Sornex product here. Uh, with some help from Sheriff Lott, we got an incredible price break on what is state-of-the-art equipment that we hope to get a chance to take a look at while you're out here. And so grateful to everybody that's contributed to this project. This is nearly a $300,000 project funded solely, that's right, 100% by private donors, many of whom are here with us today. So we're really excited. This facility opened up from softball. What time are you here? 6.30, 7 this morning? It's been open all day. The team's been in here. It's going to impact about 200 student athletes. Uh, we have recently hired an 
exercise science alum for USC Aiken to come back as our first ever certified head coach of this facility. We'll be making that announcement next week. Uh, team workouts in this building, as I mentioned, begin well before classes start and they go well past dinner with our teams coming in and getting the work done that they need to do. Um, our hope is that this also becomes a lab opportunity for our friends in exercise science uh, in the coming semesters. So as a former uh, exercise science major, that's what my degree in, I was very excited to work with these folks. Um, and I'd like to introduce Dr. Chris DeWitt. He's our department chair for exercise, sports, and science. Dr. DeWitt. Thanks, Jim. <clears throat> Jim is an old, uh, he said I could say old exercise science guy. So, and he's a great athletic director and uh, we enjoy working with him over the last few years. So uh, thank you again, Jim. Um, thanks to the donors, this is a, a very good thing that it will be for athletics, but also for exercise science, as he mentioned. And I think there's a lot of ways that we can uh, um, interface with this program. So um, I also want to acknowledge that uh, Dr. Parr is here and Professor Gilana over there, and a lot of our students here. I talked to Kirsten and Bree and uh, Evan. You're out there somewhere, right? Probably, and uh, maybe not. But, uh, and some other ones that are here today, and we have, uh, and Jazz is working here. So that's uh, the knowledge that you're here. The, um, I wanna say a little bit about the history of exercise and sports science, and uh, probably should have brought sunglasses. But the, uh, we started in 1995, and, uh, and I was here, came here in 1995. So I'm an old guy, um, very young, <laughs> and uh, so, I want to acknowledge that um, Kim, Dr. Kim Wood Wolver and uh, Janice Weeks and uh, Dr. Maggie Riedel were actually the original founders of the program and uh, they did an excellent job setting it up and everything and they, uh, I guess, made the, uh, I don't know if it was a good thing or a bad thing, but they hired me back in 1995. Um, excellent. Uh, people have come along, professors like the two that I acknowledged and several others. and. Uh, you know, it's been a good program. We've grown to a, a number of 250 majors. We have a curriculum that includes uh, general education and core courses, and then concentration courses in three areas. We have um, <clears throat> fitness management, and that has an internship of 280 contact hours, and that's six credit hours. And we think that some of that maybe in that concentration can be done with this facility. So we're very you know, thankful for that. We have an allied health concentration that has a field experience of 140 contact hours, which is three credit hours. And again, I think some of that can be done here uh, with this facility. So we're very thankful for the uh, interface. We also have, um, you know, hands-on volunteer stuff that our students could possibly do here. And we're looking forward to that. Maybe research opportunities and job opportunities also. And then maybe in terms of uh, having some of the classes here also. So, uh, you know, we're very thankful to be a part of this with athletics. And again, uh, we have an excellent athletic director. And we you know, work uh, closely with them on everything and uh, excellent uh, program in exercise science and as well as our faculty that are here and others. So uh, thank you for, to the donors and uh, thank you for uh, having us be a part of this exercise in sports science. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. DeWitt. I'd like to introduce uh, Mr. Vaughn Snellgrove, if he would come up, uh, become a good friend of mine, loyal donor and athletic supporter. Vaughn and his wife, Vicki, uh, established an endowment for our Pacer men's and women's basketball programs. Um, they continue to support athletic programs, and, uh, ventures that we have, such as this new center. Uh, Vaughn was a member of the Pacers Athletic Advisory Board and he was awarded the 2021 Volunteer of the Year Award through the university. So, my friend, Vaughn Snellgrove. Thank you, Jim. It's great to be here this evening. My remarks will be exceedingly short because Jim wrote my speech and I gave it to him. So he did a good job delivering his speech there. Uh, Vicki and I are proud to be a part of the uh, USC community. And this facility here is, I'll say this for the uh, athletes there, no more having to split your team in half one in the weight room, one on the loading docks. No more scenes. You got to get out because your time is up. <laughs> None of the other things you had to deal with. This is a facility that will be here a long time and really emphasizes the 
community support for USC Aiken. Like Jim said, this is all done with private dollars. So this is a building that says to me, community strong for USC Aiken. Thank you. Now I'd like to welcome up uh, a member of our Student Athlete Advisory Council the past three years. Um, he's one of the people that has been sort of a driving force behind this project. Uh, baseball si uh, standout and an exercise science major, Jose Hernandez. Hi, uh, my name is Jose Hernandez. I'm a member of the baseball team and SAC representative. I've been on SAC for almost three years now. We've been planning this for a while now, so I'm kind of glad we got this now. Uh, I believe I can speak on behalf of all athletes that we are beyond excited to have this new training facility not only for uh, improving our physical and uh, to better us in sports, but also to have the uh, opportunity to get our full teams in there, to help us push each other and get stronger and better ourselves. Um, I want to thank all the donors for helping us achieve this goal. Um, and I can't wait to get in there with my whole team. <laughs> thank you all. And I'd like to ask the speakers and uh, Ms. Teresa Haas if you'll come up and we'll get the ceremonial ribbon ready to go. One, two, three.